After three years of travels, 104 countries later, we have finally made it to Spain. We're so excited to be here and can't wait to see what it offers. It is our first day exploring Barcelona today and I think the best way to really get introduced to a culture and a city is by trying all of their food. So we've come to one of the most famous markets in Barcelona and we're going to try as much local food as we can here. Welcome to Mercado La Bocaria. There are two foods that I really want to try here. The first is the national dish of Spain, which is paella. The second is fresh jamón, which we have found right here, right when we walked in. Look at all that beautiful ham. Spain is known for this salt cured jamón, just cut freshly, and this looks so good. <laughs> This market is crazy busy right now. Well, what'd you find? Fresh juices. I'm in. Coconut, mango, banana, strawberry. I have chosen coconut, strawberry, and banana. Mm. Oh. That's good, that's fresh. Lenny want some? I want some. Oh, dad. It's like the first smoothie we've had in Europe. Yeah, there's no shot we're getting that back. He's like, I haven't had juice in years, you guys. That is now Lennon's juice. This place is calling my name. All sorts of baked pastries. Hola. ¿Cuál es su favorito? Jamón y queso? Está bien? Okay. Sí. All right, I ended up going with the ham and cheese. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just like a, some sort of baked pastry. Freaking burning my fingers. Mm. Look how much ham is in there. And it looks like it's the fresh Serrano jamón as well. Mm. You want some? Hey, you're gonna love this. Gracias. Gracias. Look how cute it is. That has your name all over it. That's like your favorite snack right there. Oh my gosh. I've always wanted one of these and they live up to the hype. Did she give you two? Because... Because I'm cute. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to eat one, but since she gave us two. Cheers. Cheers. dangerous section. There's a lot of chocolate here. <laughs> that whole section right there is just temptation. I think we found the restaurants. He's getting a little claustrophobic inside so we came to the outdoor section of the market and there's still tons of restaurants out here. Looks really good. Thank you. You're the paella master. <laughs> All right, I successfully found paella. And I was told that a true paella has to have clams and prawns. Those are huge prawns. I haven't tried it yet. I'm so curious to see what you think. So I got, is it a clam or is it a mussel? Do I know? Ooh, I don't know. We have a clamazel right here. And yeah, clam muscle and a little bit of rice. I'm stoked. I'm excited. Oh, Jordan. Okay, I've honestly avoided paella most of my life. There's just something that didn't look all that appealing to me. And now I regret that decision. This is so, so good. Mm. Also, there's no seating in the market, so. I'm sitting on very, very hot asphalt. I want you to know that. I thought the paella was hot, and then I sat down. My tushy's on fire. Wow. Okay, do you want a clam muscle? Yes, I would love one. 
That's amazing. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to stand up here in just a second because I think my butt is on fire. Uh, have a clam with me. Um, oh yeah. Since we love the first ham and cheese oh. so much, I got you another one. Mm. Go get him, Lennon, go get him. There's nothing he loves more than chasing birds. <laughs> We happen to come to Spain right in the middle of a heat wave and so it's hard to stand outside even for more than a few minutes without just starting to sweat. So we've come to this little bakery for some smoothies and to cool off. Looks like you're getting the first sip, huh? So yeah, I'll just drink this. Save some for me. I'm truly never coming to Europe during the summer ever, 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 ever again. It's so hot out there. Oh, mine? No. no. Oh. This shopping mall wins the best location award. It's located right in the middle of the marina and pier, surrounded by ocean with a huge bridge going through it. Visiting Barcelona would not be complete without visiting its most famous landmark, La Sagrada Familia. And it's most popular because it has been under construction for over 150 years now. This church first began construction in 1882, but there is an end in sight. Architects have said it's supposed to be fully completed by 2026. It is 290 feet from the entrance to the top. So currently there are eight towers at La Sagrada. When it's completed, there are gonna be 18 towers, 12 representing the 12 apostles, four for evangelists, one for the Virgin Mary, and then the one in the very middle will be representative of Jesus Christ. I think there's a reason it's been under construction for so long. There are so many small details and so much beauty here, it's hard to describe just how incredible it is. If I look hot and exhausted, it's because I am. <laughs> Please include that, I'm dead serious. I want people to know I don't look like this all the time. Gaudi was inspired by nature, like truly, truly enveloped himself in nature throughout his entire life. And it shows in all of his architecture. So these columns, they look like trees, like the trunks of trees, and they are just skyrocketed pretty much all the way to the top. And they branch off just as a tree would. It's beautiful. Spot. You don't need to work out before. It's straight uphill. Oh, let's go. Hello, how are you? Hi. Nice to meet you. How are you? Today we are at Park Way here in Barcelona and we're with our new friend Cinta. Hi. I'm from a little beach town near here and I've actually just finished college to become a teacher. And well, today I'm becoming the tour guide. <laughs> so we've got our own tour guide here with us, which we're super stoked about. So this whole park was designed by Anthony Gaudi, who's the same architect that designed La Sagrada Familia. This project was sort of his fun project, where he created the art style in Spanish they call trencadis, which means broken pieces. And so all of these buildings are made up of broken tiles, broken rocks, to create art masterpieces. 
Lennon, you don't even need me anymore. I'm good, Dad. I'm good. I got my girls. <laughs> Gaudi was extremely inspired by nature, and as you can see throughout the park, there's no straight line. Everything is curvy, resembling the wind, the waves, trees, leaves, everything. That's really cool. Construction started on this place in 1900, and Gaudi specifically built it at the top of this hill to get these nice views of the city and the ocean. It's really beautiful here. Oh. <laughs> you okay? Dun, dun, dun. So this house right behind me is the house that Gaudi built and designed for himself and that he lived in while the rest of the park was under construction. He is having the time of his life here just running around. Good job. From here, we even get a view of our favorite building in Barcelona. So this area of the park is probably the most famous area. It's the one you see on Instagram all the time. By using that form, the Trencadis, he's broken up these tiles and made these benches all along this balcony with an absolutely incredible view. doing this throughout the entire video. <laughs> the roofs of these buildings, is it roofs? Roofs? The roofs of these buildings are also made of that like mosaic tile style and they are beautiful. It is so hot today. We are all sweating. It's super crowded here. So we're gonna take off and head to the thing that I am most excited for today. In my opinion, the best way I can think of to really get to know Barcelona and the locals here is by attending an FC Barcelona match. So we just got here, we're walking up to the stadium right now. This place is crazy, I'm so excited. We're going to see my team play. We play FIFA. What team do I select? FC Barcelona. Fetch and go. This has been your team since you were a kid. Since I was a kid. So this is like a dream come true coming here. This is their like big first match here for the season. So I'm freaking stoked. So we had to go all out with the seats too since it's our first match, maybe our only. We got a little bougie with it. It's our date night. Hola. Hola. The tickets? Vamos, 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 vamos. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Yeah, you might as well leave this on because I'm so hyped. I don't even know what's about to come out of my mouth. I'm just going to follow you around with the camera on. Lewandowski! A big black gate with a big red carpet. Oh, wait, shoot. Are we going to be underdressed? It's just an entrance, but this makes the whole experience 10 times better. Oh yeah, looking good. So we bought the VIP tickets, which get us access to this food lounge and balcony seats. They were only $150, which is like a normal price of attending a sporting event in the US. Yes. So it was worth it. I so think. yes, we'll, we'll absolutely do the VIP experience. Thank you. First thing I saw was gelatos and a fresh leg of ham. A fresh leg of ham? <laughs> Man. Oh, I'm too excited for all of this. Oh my gosh. No way. Is that not the best you've ever had? Wow, that was good. And we're only just getting started. Cheese and ham, I'm sold. I'm in. <laughs> That's it. They're coming out. The match is starting and it's getting loud out there. So we grab food quick and we're going to head to the seats. Let's go. Here we go. This is our box right here. Let's do it. 
These are the seats. The stadium is packed. This is incredible. Looks like they have a few more snacks in here as well. I love how they just have a full plate of ham here. Oh, I messed it up. There's just a different energy here. American soccer matches, which they could be European football matches. And it is so loud. Our seats are kind of funky because it's a blocked view. We can still see everything, but we can't see the entire stadium. Lewandowski. Lewandowski. Okay, I knew that. I was about to say, I wish I knew all these chants. Oh, let's go. Let's go. charms this whole time. There have been two goals in the first six minutes of this match. This is going to be a sad match. <laughs> I think you're going to destroy them. They keep bringing new snacks into the box here. We have burgers, noodles, and some desserts now. The goal and the dub. Let's go. 